Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Diana. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. It is Wednesday, July 5th actually. Happy belated July 4th if you did not watch my last vlog. I am about to go to the gym. I'm making some black tea for me because the stomach is hurting this morning. I'm drinking my pre-workout. Today is going to be push day and I'm going to try to stop by the farmer's market after the gym. And I also want to get fresh bread this morning. I'm craving like a really, really good, delicious egg sandwich. That's I've been thinking about it since yesterday. Today's kind of going to be a weird day, and I'm kind of worried about it. But we're gonna we're gonna we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I have some work that I need to do. I want to tidy up the house when I get home, and I need to go to the library to print a couple of. Poshmark labels and then I need to ship out a couple of Poshmark packages and then I also need to finish listing a couple of more Poshmark packages. Did I get like a little sunburnt yesterday? It kind of looked a little sunburnt. I got very sunburnt, not like super, but like on my chest you can kind of see a tan line, but I put some aloe on it yesterday and it should be fine. Also, kind of want to go to Trader Joe's today because I saw that there are new things, so we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us, but I'm excited to take you along. My mom always says that strong black tea is good when you're feeling nauseous or like your stomach isn't feeling too good. I'm just gonna let it steep. I'm walking back home from the gym. I had a really good workout actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. I subbed by Justa and got some sliced sourdough. So we're gonna go home and make a really, really good breakfast sandwich. Okay, I just came back from the farmer's market and picked up a couple of goodies. I really need to, I'm sweating. But I got some berries from the market, beautiful. These blackberries are so interesting. I don't know what they're called. I kind of want to try one, should I? That's so good. That's delicious. Okay. So I got berries, huge bag of apricots because these are the absolute best apricots that I've ever had in my life. And they're I'm not going to be selling them after this upcoming week. So I stocked up. These are going to last like two days. I stopped by Target to get these freezer bags. An avocado for a breakfast sandwich. And then from the farmer's market, I also got this watermelon and this melon. It's supposed to be white inside. I didn't have time to stop by Trader Joe's, so I'll probably do that a little bit later. But I'm going to make a smoothie right now. And then I'm going to go rinse off and yeah let's make let's make the smoothie because i've been craving this for for a day and a half <laughs> honestly my favorite smoothie but i do prefer blueberry yogurt because i don't know why just it just tastes a little bit better to me but the strawberry one is good too i also got these raspberries and they are so good honestly better than these wait let's try Okay, wait, these are so good. These are delicious though, they're so sweet. So, the key ingredient, quite frankly, is the frozen banana. It just makes it thick, creamy, and delicious. Unless you add too much liquid, which I have a tendency to do so banana i'm going to add collagen for protein and let's do let's do one and a half servings for some extra protein then we're going to add the yogurt which has about i think 11 grams of protein 12 I love that this is unflavored because then you could just 
you don't taste it and I don't like when you can taste you know that stuff when you're trying to make like a fruity smoothie I'm gonna add coconut water I should have added that first but it's okay for electrolytes and potassium and then I'm just going to add a ton of blueberries strawberry so it's like a strawberry banana blueberry shake smoothie i feel like this is too crowded but it's fine we're gonna make it work i tried an apricot and it was delicious it was so sweet okay look at this color this is stunning i wonder why it sucks that the bottom is not blended my nails look so good with this color okay oh it's actually thick that's nice That is delicious. Quick, it's 11 11, make a wish. Phenomenal. Make this at home, please. It's so good. Well, it happened. Today's the day that I got laid off. You know, there's a very vulnerable thing to say online where people watch your videos like it's a very vulnerable thing for other people to know but my goal is to be open and share like what is really happening in my life and that's where i'm at i got laid off today so that's i tend to have like a delayed reaction to things so i know tomorrow i'm going to be very like emotionally who knows where right now i'm just like kind of like what just happened <laughs> i'm yeah i mean yeah my plan is to focus on my writing 100 percent for the next month and see where that gets me YouTube, obviously I'm not monetized on YouTube, so it's not gonna be like that. It's not like that's gonna help, but hopefully it gets me somewhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna zone in on my writing and I'm gonna try to focus on that as much as possible. And I'm gonna take you along and we'll see where, where we go. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I'm trying to like not let this literally ruined me like it's very out of the blue like we had a company email that got sent out monday afternoon but i wasn't exactly like thinking that that's where it would go like i kind of obviously i had like okay wait a second i think something bad is gonna happen today but you know when it actually happens you're like what just happened i don't know we're gonna get through it that's what I'm telling myself. Everything happens for a reason and we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be okay. I've been on the phone all day, but I'm finally having some food. It's four o'clock and I'm starving. That smoothie obviously didn't hold me over for that long, but I've been on hold on the phone all day. It's fine, we're getting through it. Mm, so good. I'm done. I have a little pimple patch. I'm done with all of my calls that I had to make today to figure out my life moving forward. Miha and I are going to go on a walk so that I could clear my head because I've been sitting here glued. It's five o'clock and I've been like sitting at this desk this entire time. I literally didn't even change out of my gym clothes. Like today's been a crazy, crazy day, but. I'm going to I'm gonna go get get a little walking, get some sunshine in, and then I'm going to come back home. I think we're gonna have some like just a have dinner and I want to just like sit down and create a plan for the next couple of months. But yeah, anyways, so after the walk, we're gonna come home, have some food, and I'm gonna sit down 
I'm gonna take a little shower actually since I haven't showered since you know after the gym but I'm gonna sit down and try to think of like things that I could start working on and just like creating a plan do a little brain dump situation and yeah we're gonna get through this everything happens for a reason I just ran into the hole Saladino. Saladino? Yeah. He completely changed my life. Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> I cannot believe we just met him, right, Mihai? We got selfies with him. I'm back just took a nice long walk I'm about to start making some dinner <sighs> what a day but it's so crazy that we met Paul Saladino we love him he changed my life like in terms of health wellness diet I everything changed when I started like following his tips and tricks and advice and his podcast is really good and that was just a friendly reminder that i should listen to it more <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna make a quick dinner i have no like i was gonna go to trader joe's today and i didn't so i'm gonna try to work with what i have in terms of um the meal so hopefully it turns out okay but anyways let's get to cooking i'm pretty hungry and i still have some work that i want to do like it's kind of crazy to say that now it's like when I say work it's me trying to to make money on online now back to square one just a little bit smarter than we were before so yeah here's what we're working with for dinner doesn't look like much but we're gonna turn it into something I can't use like, I can't not put on gloves if I'm gonna be dealing with raw meat. That's gross. And I also don't have an onion. I have nothing. I don't know, like, I can't believe I don't have onion. I always have onion. We're gonna make the best of it. It's gonna taste delicious. I'm confident in myself and my cooking abilities. This is one of my favorite spices from TJ Maxx, actually. I ordered this on Amazon and this is probably one of my favorite purchases. I just flattened all of the patties down. This is one of my favorite cheeses from Trader Joe's. It's so good. This cheese is also good. I'm going to cut it up as well. So we've got options. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these bison patties and we're going to make little like sandwiches with cucumbers, tomatoes. There's some little bit of avocado, cheese, pepperoncinis. And I've got some sauces. Gotta work with what you have. This is so good. Dinner was so good. I'm feeling very satisfied. I definitely want to have some like fruit from the farmer's market as like a little dessert. But I'm gonna shower first and I'm going to do a little face face mask. Um I'm feeling like my skin is just like my skin is fine, but I have like a little bump here and it's bugging me. And yeah, let's just do a little skincare. 
makes makes me feel better. Cute. All right, I just showered and I'm doing my skincare. Cool. I hope I spend a little bit more time in the sun tomorrow. I would love to get a slight face tan if possible. Okay, so for my skincare, I'm using the usual. I feel like, like I said, my skin is kind of unhappy right now, so I'm just trying to stick to neutral stuff. I've also been loving this night mask and I'm so close to being out, which is unfortunate. I'm literally almost done, but it's so nice and I feel like it makes your skin look so smooth the next morning. I think I'm also gonna put a little pimple patch right here before I go to bed, just to make sure whatever bump I have there doesn't actually turn into anything. Okay, last but not least, I have been using this castor oil on my brows. Not every night, because sometimes I just forget, but definitely trying to make a habit out of it. Every time that I would get my eyebrows threaded, the girls would tell me to apply or to use castor oil whenever I would say that I'm like trying to grow my brows out. So here we are. Just like do a little swipe. I'll also take just like a regular brush and I'll brush them up. And whatever like residue I have, I'll use it on my lashes because I feel like that really helps get them like nice and juicy. Anyways, that's my little night routine. I'm going to take my supplements. I take an ocetal. I did. Yeah. This is the best. Good morning. Today is um, day two. Well, technically it's day one. No, it's not because today is technically my last day of being employed. So, yeah, today like I woke up in like a very weird mood because I have a I tend to have like a delayed reaction to things, um, literally to everything. So today I started like feeling all the feels that I was like, wait a second. Anyways. It's 11. I woke up at 6.30 and I spend this entire morning creating my UGC portfolio. That is my new, like, that's where I'm going to be focusing on. I'm gonna be focusing on trying to become a UGC creator because it's always something that I've been really interested in. I am very much so a materialistic individual. I love things. I love skincare. I love hair care. I love clothes. You guys already know, I love all of that stuff and i figured you know what why not get paid to promote the things that i already love like if that's an option for me why not try to go down that pathway so i spent some time creating my portfolio today actually the whole morning like i said it's done it's completed and i used a lot of like my old content that i already i have a pimple patch here if you're wondering why i'm talking funny but I used a lot of my old content and I really want to create some new pieces of content as well. But I think that I want to work with what I have right now and try to pitch a couple of brands already just so that I could kind of try to get the momentum going and whatnot. But like I said, it's 11. I've been on my computer since like 7 this morning and uh, it took me a while to create that portfolio I'm not gonna lie it took me a while I was like looking into it yesterday and watching a bunch of videos and tutorials and I was so tempted to buy a um, template but I was like no it's fine I'm gonna do it myself and I'm not gonna lie I feel really really proud because I'm that kind of person that is always like 
I want to take the easy way out. Let me buy a template. Let me pay somebody to do it. But I took my time and like created it and I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, but anyways, I know I look really like frazzled this morning. I was like I said, I woke up very feeling very like what is life, you know? Uh, but anyways, Mihai and I are gonna go to the gym when he's back home and it's so crazy because I am a morning gym person and part of that was always because obviously I had to be at work so I would go like at the butt crack of dawn but now I'm thinking that obviously since my life is changing I'll be able to go whenever I want my ideal time to go to the gym has always been around like 9, 10, 11, 8, like kind of like in that time because I love accomplishing something first thing in the morning so like for example during um the lockdowns and everything and when i was writing for myself i would always wake up at five or six and i would write an article and then i would go to the gym and then i would come back and edit and like do my stuff so I'm, i kind of want to like gear myself to go back to that but most important for me right now is to obviously create some sort of income for myself so i'm going to be prioritizing waking up early and either writing editing a youtube video or pitching brands or something and then going to the gym after that because that is obviously still a priority for me as well but yeah so anyways i'm going to make a smoothie because i am pretty hungry and i want to like feel good at the gym but the problem is i have no strawberry or banana or strawberry or blueberry yogurt and i also have no bananas so we're gonna try to work with what we have i do have like this vanilla yogurt so i think i'll try to do something with that i'm crossing my fingers it's still good and then after we drink our smoothie i'm going to um get myself together and presentable so that we can go to the gym and i think we're gonna bike there i have a bike so i'm like scared to use it but i think Mihai's gonna longboard and i'm gonna bike and then we'll hit the sauna after so it'll be like a nice wellness kind of morning especially i feel like with all the stress that i've been experiencing i really need to get into that sauna <laughs> last night i also sorry for the lighting um I sat on my computer, like I said, I was going to to do a little bit of work and stuff, and I was so tired and just like frustrated, like it was all starting to get to me. So I was like frantically looking at like other opportunities and just like looking more into like UGC and stuff like that. And before I went to bed, I did something really bad. I ended up eating so much chocolate. I it was so bad. <laughs> I think I ate like I don't know two different chocolate bars and I felt really guilty about it this morning Because I'm like, you know in my fit area and trying to be healthy and trying to slim down and stuff But anyways, I felt pretty bad about it. But I was like, you know what? You just got laid off You can have the chocolate if you want to have the freaking chocolate calm down I should have measured how much yogurt I'm putting in here so that I could count the protein but i'm gonna assume this is about 10 or so 10 grams this smoothie should be delicious technically speaking because this is full fat yogurt and it's so yummy it's so creamy and just ugh, perfection i'm just going to do a ton of berries when i go to Trader Joe's today i'm gonna stock up on my yogurt and a ton of frozen fruit so I could continue making these and coconut water so that we would be good and set for did I just do two or three I think that was two so that's three so that's 30 this should be about 40 grams of protein I really feel like I should add just like a little bit more yogurt and maybe I'll add the rest of the berries yeah That came out very thick. It's good. It's not as good because 
that blueberry yogurt is so good and the banana it definitely makes the texture a little bit more like grainy but it's still delicious i'm gonna drink this get ready for the gym and then when we come back we're gonna do some research on how to pitch brands with your ugc profile or portfolio my bad i'm ready for the gym i'm i feel like i've been re-wearing this set so much lately but it's literally because it matches my nails and i absolutely love being matchy matchy i'm having pre-work i can't believe i'm having pre-workout at 12 o'clock who am i this is so unlike me Got to the gym it's beautiful out i'm so not used to going at this time of day but i'm looking forward to it and then after we're gonna go to the sauna excited finished at, at gold's and then we went to 24 to go to the sauna and that was so challenging because we haven't been to the sauna in like a week and we always do 25 minutes and we were dying my heart rate went up to 140 and it usually stays under 100 so it's so challenging but i feel really good about getting it done so i'm happy but anyways we're heading home gonna shower and then i have a couple of errands to run and I'm gonna make dinner i'm starving it's a good day okay i feel fresh i'm showered I look so tan, even though I didn't even tan today. Really, really, uh, tomorrow I'm going to walk home from the gym and I'm hoping I'll catch a little bit of sun, so that'll be nice. But anyways, we're going to make dinner. We have Japanese sweet potatoes in the air fryer right now and we're going to have steak pan con tomat, which Mihai is going to make. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we also got these amy lou chicken sausages from whole foods these are so good and we're both starving and we haven't had that much protein today so gonna have this as well so that's that's dinner but i wanted to show you the amazon package that i just got since i'm going all in on youtube i figured i would get a new camera case because this one that i have is kind of like not very protective and i just want to make sure nothing happens to my camera because i'm like carrying it around in my gym bag and i always have so much stuff in there this one is like nice and hard so it'll be perfect and it has like this little thingy so this is great it was like nine dollars on i think on amazon and then also since i'm going to be creating more content like socks Mihai I'm gonna be making more short form content so I got this selfie ring light to try out hopefully this is hopefully this works because I feel like sometimes the lighting on my phone is just not not up to par so we'll see how how this works but you just clip it on to your phone oh look at that that's so cool and it has different settings there's like um, a warm one this one and then whatever this one is so yeah that's so cool so we just you just clip it on how does that work if you're trying to take a photo though I guess I need to, oh, yeah, there you go. So like front camera, so it works. That's so funny. Let's try a different color. Wow. It, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I could do it like, I wonder what would happen if I did it like this. Kind of like from the side oh that looks so that makes a huge okay so 
if you're like trying to vlog like this or record whatever you're recording like this and you just put it off to the side it actually makes a difference in terms of how it looks what a cool little device this was also on amazon for like 10 bucks it'll be linked in my amazon storefront so that's so handy okay i'm making pan con tomato and i'm going to grate these tomatoes on here i should probably cut it so that the skin wouldn't be there thanks i should have grabbed a bigger bowl but it's fine we're fine Okay, I have some grated tomato in here. You can't tell, but it's fine. And I'm gonna add this beautiful Drista olive oil in here and then some flaky salt. It's a little more watery than it should be, but it's fine. I have more sourdough in the toaster, but this looks so good. That's so good. We're gonna eat on the balcony since it's so nice out. This looks so good. Got some old flowers here that I definitely need to refresh. And here's me eyes. That looks delectable. Taste test of this sausage, which is, I already know it's really good. So good. Any sweet potato? Always put butter and salt. So good. Friday. I am getting ready to go to the gym. Today's gonna be a fun day because it's Friday obviously and it's gonna be a writing day so I'm looking forward to that but also uh, we're gonna go to Air One today to check out the new collab between Air One and Paul Saladino so I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be really cool but I wanted to end the vlog off here so that I could start another one be sure to subscribe and stick around so that you can continue watching more of what's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks with my new life change, honestly. Today is technically going to be the official day of me being unemployed because my last day was technically yesterday. So that is that. It is... It's still pretty crazy. I'm still kind of mind boggled, but stay tuned for the next video. I think I'm gonna make a full video talking about all of the things that I'm planning on doing and what happened and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, cheers, happy Friday. If you are also going through something similar to me, chin up, we've got this, things are gonna get better, but Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in this next vlog that I'm starting right now. Bye.